Hey everyone. <laughs> I was just like, they changed the way the live video is. So I was like hoping it went, usually it would count down for me. So anyways, thank you guys for joining. I'm gonna give it a little bit and see who hops on. Hey Amy. How's everyone's evening going? Hey Cassie, even though Cassie's with me here. Hey Cassie. <laughs> but thanks for joining. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh hey Phil Joe thanks for joining <laughs> making me laugh Cass <laughs> hey Dana so as you guys see I've got my new purple one on so same one as kind of yesterday Oh, cheater, Cass. <laughs> hey, Kara, I think this is the first time you've joined. Woo woo. <laughs> so you see, I got my shirt on. And oh, also, I don't know if you guys saw one of my posts a couple weeks ago, but my friend Cassie painted me this picture and she brought it by today. It's a fun little abstract uh, picture. If you can't tell, it's me. <laughs> with my wine glass so it's cute right she's really good she paints a bunch of different stuff but she painted me that one so I'm glad I finally got it what's the Amy says I don't believe you I want to see her face come here Cassie come show your hi. face just... yeah just say hi real quick you don't have to you gotta come around <laughs> she's here hi Cassie <laughs> she's here <laughs> so all right uh, well, let's get started. Again, thank you guys for joining me for Wine Talk Wednesday. Um, today, I'm going to talk a little bit about grapes. Amy, I know, right? She's actually here. I told you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, today, I'm going to talk about the different type of grapes that are used to um, make wine and then a little bit about the fermentation process. Um, you know, being part of this wine club, being a distributor, I, you know, it wasn't a requirement for me to know much about wine. Yeah, I knew a little bit, but uh, being part of this has made me want to learn more about it. So I've been doing, you know, some research and um, obviously having the wine whisper has been like so helpful. So uh, I like to bring some of that knowledge to you. So hopefully you guys enjoy the information also. Okay. So, when it comes to wine, pretty much uh, wine is just grape juice that went bad. <laughs> so, but what the process is of growing the grapes and turning it into the wine that is actually drinkable, you know, that's a process and you have to use uh, specific grapes for that, okay? Um, so there's a there's a specific like uh, species of grapes that you use for the majority of winemaking, and those are called uh, noble grapes. And then they come in different varieties. Okay, uh, those varieties are going to be like uh, Cabernet Sauvignon, Syrah, your Pinot no no Pinot Noir, your Chardonnay, your Sauvignon, Sauvignon Blanc, and then your Riesling. Those are what the noble grapes of. Those are what wine you know, makers use for the majority of making their wine, okay? They're called noble grapes because they can be made into different styles and produce elegant, long-lived wines, okay? And of course, there's other types of grapes like uh, Zinfandel grapes, Merlot, Pinot Grigio, um, and there's a whole bunch of others, but the noble grapes are the ones that they really use a lot, okay? Um, when Winemakers and grape growers have, you know, a lot of decisions, David, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so when they're making the wine, they have a lot of decisions, you know, that they have to decide about like uh, what climate and soils that are the best, what, um, what best ways to manage the vines for best production and to prevent diseases, you know, to happen that's going to ruin their crops. Uh, when do they harvest, the weather conditions, how long they ferment it to reach its certain alcohol content. Because the longer you ferment wine or the grapes, the more alcohol content you're going to get. So, and each wine obviously has a different, you know, alcohol content in it. 
Um, should they use stainless steel containers or oak barrels so that they can have different flavors? Um, and then when do they actually release the wine? You know, it's a process that they have to go through to make sure that the wine is actually, you know, perfect for, you know, when they distribute it. Um, on the grapes, I'm not sure if you've ever noticed, like, on grapes, sometimes they can have, like, a white, like, film on it, actually. And that is actually a yeast that grows naturally on the grape. And that grape eats the sugar and then it turns it into actual alcohol. So that's a fun fact for you. I don't know if you know that. <laughs> so uh, the, that yeast on the uh, grape actually turns into alcohol, okay? So um, let's see, lost my place, okay. Um, but it, it is actually a, a you know, a complicated process that they have to go through on the fermentation process. Uh, it acts it depends when you smell like the when it goes through its process you know how you smell like sometimes wines will have like a strawberry or a peach flavor or whatever it is that you uh, what type of wine you're drinking um, that process is what makes it smell and have those aromas or taste that way you never really actually taste like a grape taste in wine you know um, it's always like more of a fruit or you can smell that actual smell so um, when they are actually doing the fermentation process um, you know they the grapes they have to have the grapes ripen okay and then that let that turns it into the certain you know acidity content and uh, the sugar and alcohol content that's going to let the grapes ferment in this uh, either a steel or wood or oak barrel, you know. But what they do is they take the juice and crush the skins and they place it into those barrels and they're going to let it ferment. The skin is going to float to the top and then when they actually like push it down into the barrel, that actually extracts more flavors into it. And um, some wineries, when they're actually picking their grapes, they're either going to individually pick them. If it's like a high-end winery, they're going to individually pick different grapes. Or um, some will just take whatever's in the bin, and some will like destem their grapes. Some will just take them all and just throw them into the barrel. It just kind of depends on what kind of winery it is, if it's a really high price winery or not. So, um, but once it goes through the process, it then goes into uh, individual barrels for the aging process, and then it's actually bottled, okay? Um, wineries have uh, very like strict rules on how they make the wine. They have to uh, monitor, it, monitor it because there's chemical components that go into that product, okay? And they have filtering processes to make sure that particles, impurities, impurities aren't in the wine. And then actually if they need to, hey Nicole, if they need to do a longer aging process in the barrel wines to make, you know, certain flavors. So there's definitely a process for the for the, you know, picking the grapes and, you know, fermenting the wine. I just find it really interesting, you know, that it has to go through this whole complicated process just to make wine when what you watch I Love Lucy and all they do is stomp on the grapes and then they make wine, right? But that's not how it's really done. Hey, Nicole. Um, so, but the, if you ask any winemaker, they're really going to tell you that they strive most to make sure that it is well balanced because they want all the components of the wine to blend together and for you to be able to experience the, the most pleasant, you know, drinking experience. So that's why they have to go through all this process and it's, you know, really important for them, you know, to pick the certain grapes that they have and, um, you know, particular climates and everything that all makes a big difference. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. <laughs> so, I thought it was really interesting. I think it's, you know, fun to find out some stuff. Hey, Brittany. Hey, Stefan. Thanks for joining. <laughs> uh, any questions you guys have while I'm on here? I'm drinking, actually, my uh, Sauvignon Blanc that I got in my box. Uh, Cassie, she's a... Uh, 
big uh, white drinker and this is one of her favorite ones so I wanted to wait till she was over to to have it yeah Cassie likes it so yeah I wanted her to have some I opened up one bottle but you know I get two of them so I wanted to make sure she had some of the other one so and that's what we had today yeah I usually have two yeah of each but I already opened up one <laughs> so any question did she like the white one yep she did she liked it. I know we're on a delay. I hate that when yeah, you guys ask me questions and I don't realize it. So you know, I heard something about like that the way the the white wine was fermented. Mm -hmm. That's why it was giving uh, like that cupcake wine that we had. Uh huh. It get that that's the fermenting process was why we were like having getting such bad headaches and stuff and hangovers. Yeah. Well, they they say it's not that. It's actually. Um, it's the alcohol. It's just the alcohol. They say that it does that. Cause remember, I did the sulfates. Oh, yeah. yeah, that uh, thing I did the other day or a couple weeks ago. Anyways, tell Cassie I also love her long time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for joining me. Um, next week I am gonna be doing another giveaway. So uh, I will I'll probably announce it on Monday, like what the contest is gonna be. If you guys have anything. Um, or any suggestions on contests or anything go ahead and feel free to send it to me and I will think about that and I will post it on Monday though what it's gonna be okay all right guys you guys have a good evening all right thanks bye